Hey, what's up, Internet? Hey! We just watched Spooky Scary Skeletons, the movie. Yeah. Hello? Todd? Something happened. Where are you? This is real bad. Watched a movie called Ritual, directed by Mickey Keating. Who's Mickey Keating, you ask? That is a good question. Well, I wouldn't know, and that's except for the fact that Lee never shuts up about it. Sounds Mickey like a Keating is Mickey Keating is an inspiration of mine. He is legitimately an inspiration of mine. He is a up and coming horror filmmaker, big in the indie scene. He's made he's pumped out about a movie a year a movie a year since 2013, and he makes a lot of films that are very much like throwbacks and homages to old school horror films of. Anywhere from the early 1900s to the 1970s and 80s, and he does a pretty good job most of the time. He's a very, he's a really talented director. He's a young guy. He's really like you know, he's got a lot of going for him. And so we just watched his first film, Ritual. Ritual tells the story of a woman who's in a in a motel room, and calls her fiance to help her deal fiance? with husband, whatever. I don't know. It's not really separated. Clear. It's not really clear. To help her out with the fact that she murdered a man in self-defense when he tried to date rape her. And through a series of crazy happenstances, they get involved in some shit with a cult of spooky, scary skeletons, and shit gets real. I didn't really know anything about this movie going in. Yeah, um, me neither. No. We, 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 I none knew, of us did. We just watched the trailer. I knew that it was his first film, and I know that it was made yeah, on so the budget of $25,000, and that is it. So everything so we're about to say, let's factor. Let's fact make that, sure that's that I'm, gonna, I'm going to take that into account when I review this. Because oh, well, one thing I do want to say, like uh, just a positive right away, for $25,000, the effects in this movie were very good. Gnarly, some, some really gnarly practical effects. Yeah. And this movie looks great for a film that is made for twenty five k. So let's get into it in a more detailed way. What did you guys like about this film? Start with Tom. I liked the... I'm trying to think. Was there another um, throwback that I caught? Wasn't there more? Wasn't there two? There uh, were three. Yeah, there there was three. Was Night of the Living Dead, Texas Chainsaw. Yes, on the radio. And Halloween. Oh, yeah. The opening Halloween. credits. I forgot about that. The opening credits. Yes. The opening credits with the fading in skull face referencing the opening credits of Halloween. The Christian radio with the, li the line from Dawn of the Dead. Hearing the line when there's no more room left in the hell, the dead will walk. No, it's from Dawn of the Dead. I don't know. That's, don't know. that's the preach. There's too many of the dead movies in all honesty. When there's no more room left in hell, the dead will walk the... And it cuts off, but yeah, that... Then, oh my god, possibly the sneakiest little horror... Nod. I'm I've, sure there were more. I wonder if anyone ever even really caught that because I'm sure. I, I want to know. Yeah. All right. Well, I have to explain. Yeah. The scene where the cultists are driving in the '50s, looking I want to say Chevy or something like that. They got this old school bluegrass kind of southern ditty. instrumental kind of yeah, a little number on the radio. It's a little a little ditty. acoustic guitar number with like occasional lear, occasional vocals in it and everything. And goddamn, I knew it sounded familiar. It's the same exact track that plays in the van when the um, kids are driving in the beginning of the original 74 Texas Chainsaw Massacre, which I thought was very, very, very cute. Just a little... A little hey to Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And that's what I love about a lot of his... Uh, that's what I love adorable. about his movies. He has so many of these little homages and little, like, references and stuff, and he just... He's... He's... he's a horror, he is a horror fan. Like I said, he's an inspiration of mine. He is a horror fan who became a director and directs so many fucking things. And it's really, it's just awesome. So Mike, what did you like about this movie? Um, well, like I already said, the practical effects, I really like that. Mm -hmm. um, especially for the sho uh, shoestring budget this had. I also think it's impressive that this movie was made for $25,000. Yes. yes um, I agree. Let's see. Uh, the soundtrack was hit or miss. I mean, there were... The soundtrack or the score? So, sorry, the score was hit or miss. It was, on occasion it was good, other times it just was off. The score, not to interrupt, but the score, I feel like at some points was alright, but then at other points sounded like I was just standing in the engine room of, like, a diesel boat with, like, earmuffs on. Yeah, no, the, the score was hit or miss, but for the parts that it was good, it was good. Right. Um, beyond that, I think it's all the likes I have for this movie. Like I said, for, for a movie directed on a $25,000 budget, it looked great. I think that... He is a stellar director, just even even from the beginning, like even watching his first film, I think he's a stellar director. 
I like the soundtrack a lot. The score, like I, like you said, was kind of hit or miss for me, but I think the soundtrack was great. I loved the sound design in this movie. I honestly didn't notice it too much. There was like specifically during the scene when she's like killing the dude. You have that like that yeah. kind of it's like this warped, um, almost muted sound, but you also have like that this like hissing. And it, it it added to the atmosphere. I felt really well, and there was a lot of that in this movie that I felt really worked. The premise is okay. The, the premise is cool. And I love, like I said, I, the cinematography I don't think was half bad. The lighting was an issue. Yeah, was it, the yeah, lighting was a few times. A little dark in some A little dark, but overall I think it was pretty the cuts solid. The too, movie. though. Well, that's, that's more editing. Though. Yeah, yeah we should touch editing. on that. I was going to touch on it when I get to dislikes, because that, that I didn't, wasn't really a big fan of. Dislikes. Dislikes. Um, some scenes were carried out way too long. Yeah, pacing Way is too long. Okay, yeah, I there were, see, I there were scenes was... that could have been no more than two minutes that were dragged out over like ten. That it was like, oh my god, come on. Dialogue a little bit I felt was choppy and forced at some points. Everything he mentioned, but also the acting was incredibly poor. I found, I thought, um, like I actually, the the acting actually reminded me of porn, like porn <laughs> acting. Like it was bad. The dialogue was incredibly forced, I felt. The script wasn't very good. I, I felt like the plot was just terrible. It went nowhere. All the editing for this movie... This is one of the least yeah. immersive movies I've ever seen in my life because of the way it was edited. Like, this movie didn't pull me in at all. I was just kind of sitting here waiting for it to end. I I can agree with some of the things you said. Not I'm not, not as harshly, I don't think, as you were saying, yeah. but... I think mainly my biggest issues with the movie were the the script was a little too expository for me at times. Like it was it was kind of too heavy handed with the way it was too expository with things that it didn't need to be. Yeah. And when it came to things that I was actually curious about, like the cult and all the and, the, and I don't even care about motive, but like I'm just more curious about the details behind this cult. Yeah. And we didn't get yeah, any of that, so that was that that upset me. And the acting was not great. So those are those are the two biggest issues I had. The editing, like you were saying, I'm also more used to Keating's editing style. I, it's very, it's very, um, not it's not the, your typical editing style at all, and it never is. And I think that's maybe I'm more used to that. It, it might work in other movies. It, 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 it definitely works at in other all movies. In this one, yeah, this one I I didn't like the cuts to static. I didn't I don't know. There were like I said, there were things that I I felt it mostly failed with the with mainly with the di like the script and the acting were the two biggest things that I had I had an issue with. I don't think they were horrible, but I don't think they were particularly good. They were horrible. Um, just remember, just keep in mind that was also yeah. Well, and I said, like I said, that's like for for a first film, for a first feature film made on that budget, it's very impressive. It's oh, absolutely, it, it is impressive. I'm not trying to downplay that, but having a low budget doesn't make it a good movie. I, okay, like, I can I can respect. I get, that. I, get, like, I, I, get, I, get, I get what you're saying. I can respect the fact that he made it for twenty five thousand dollars, and I am mm. impressed by that. But I wouldn't want anyone I care about to watch this movie. <laughs> so. I don't think there's anything really specific to touch on rate, like yeah. discussion wise. Ratings? C minus. D plus. C minus for me. I think it's pretty I think it's a well I think it's a well made film. I think that well te I, technically speaking, I think it's a well made film. I think that it suffers more from when, when it comes down to the you know, the script and the acting, but I think that's something that also, given that it's a first film, has so much room to improve over time. I, I would definitely I'm curious about his other movies. We're gonna we be are checking out his other movies, guys. We're gonna be checking out uh well, we'll Darling be, is next. Darling is next. Gonna be checking out Pod and Carnage Park. As always, thank you for, so much for watching. Camera battery's dying quickly. Like, comment, subscribe before we go away. Oh, but uh, also, we should. Uh, did you note the hundred followers? Yes, guys, we got to hundred. We we're over hundred subscribers Woo! now. Thank yeah, you all so hey, much. Yeah, so love you. you guys, Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Thank you for getting us there. Thank we you so much you. for watching. We love you guys.